Good morning, guys. It's the YouTube sisters and brother. <laughs> yeah, because we look like sisters, right? No, and not at all. No, not at all. Uh, good morning, guys. Welcome to today. We got the puppies <laughs> trying to get warm. That's how cold it is outside. Toby tries to fit in that little tiny vent down there. I don't. You can't see it. He tries to go in that vent. He like literally tries to put his whole head in that vent oh, to stay warm. And I'll put another sweater on him today. It's just been so super chilly out. And they're always cold. Cold. Very yeah, chihuahuas are always cold. But today. I'm gonna show you all the new, I'm gonna show you guys what happens to your house in the middle of winter in Canada uh, when you're dealing with frigid temperatures. So we have um, sunflower seeds for the birds going on. We have uh, beet pulp for the horses. We have beet pulp for the horses. We have beet pulp for the horses. Take that, it's gotta go down to the barn with us. Um, I've got buckets that were frozen yesterday so I had to bring them up. Now they gotta go down to the barn. Over here, we have water to go down to the barn and now we're not only that but we're also bringing hay up and soaking it at night so that it doesn't freeze um only one tiny yeah and dad <laughs> dad uh is his first time soaking hay last night and i don't know how much water he put oh, in this there is dry. but it does not look too soaked things that we have to work on are getting a better bucket for soaking hay but I mean it doesn't matter how big the bucket is it matters how many buckets of water we can carry down there to fill the hay anyways like it's excruciatingly hard work I mean all farming stuff right is hard work but so we drive down. all we can do in the thick of the winter is our best that's my point you have We're bird poop yeah I always have bird poop I'm the bird poop lady right. like what the actual heck like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, Gabby. That, that's, that's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, we are headed down to do our chores for the morning. I am going to, we're going to make uh, our more our, like our daily routine with horses. Oh, and then we can lunch um, Willa in the morning. No, we can lunch Willow in it later. Uh, we also are going to go to the barn because Gabby's going to ride Storm today. We're going to give Dodo the day off. Anyway, we'll see all that dream. stuff. Tell them my dream. All right, we'll tell them your dream. When no, you tell them. No, you tell them your dream. So, I dreamed that I got on Dodo bareback, which would be okay if he had a bridle on. And I was rising on him, well, trying to rise on him when he was walking. And he did this little prancy trot. And when I got off of him, Gabby got on him. So he did this little excited prancy trot. So she thinks that she's gonna have a good time with Dodo. Dodo's settling in really well, huh? So uh, every day when I read the comments, I would think, oh man, I'm gonna tell them about that. Um, so things that you guys are talking about in the comments are, then I always forget, what the heck was it that I was gonna tell you guys? Um, oh, the Storm and Gabby thing. Oh, you guys, it's hard for Gabby not to ride Storm. Like yesterday, I she thought she was riding dodo and then storm and i didn't know she thought that and we ran out of time and then she couldn't ride storm and she was a devastated like she's not like oh, hi, i got a fancy new horse by storm she's like storm you are my heart i will never ever like she feels guilty every time she rides dodo but she has to ride dodo right now a lot because we're trying him and we only have a couple of weeks to figure out if he's gonna work for her so um, did you bring the people I tried to. Is it gone? No. My kids are awesome. Like, shout it out to the world that I'm the bird poop lady. Like, you are in a lot of it. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Sophie. So, the more comfortable Willow gets here, the more likely she's to jump this thing. I feel nervous. So, uh. Right now, she's freaking out because of the she wants hay. Yeah, your nose is all wet. Um. She, yeah, she wants her hay. She wants to get out of her stall, but she had lots of hay last night. It was really cold out like really really cold so Sam came down and gave them extra hay last night uh, the only time it's been like super overwhelming having the horses home has been this last two days when the temperatures have like plummeted like so many of you guys don't understand what it's like to live in Canada you give us advice <laughs> based on what it's like in your climate and some of it is just like does not fly in Canada it's that cold like I'm frozen are you frozen kind of are not you too cold. not too My cold? Just a bit cold? Yeah, like, but that's because we're used to it. I mean, yeah. everything is freezing right now. Let's see how good she puts her Yeah, she's like, take me out. Stella does it too. Oh, 
uh, Willow did, but she didn't drink a lot. And even though she's drinking heated water during the day, it's, you know, that's... We Stella does not even need anything on her. She'll just walk right beside you. Alright, let's see it. So fast? Guys, I would do that. Is she going right to the drink? Right now it's so now that it's like this cold, we've been giving them a little bit extra hay because they need to keep themselves warm. Stop it. You be good girl, Willow. So if he's on a on a wild goose chase for what? What are you looking for? She's looking for pee. I just showed her how to look for willow pee. You could use a pitchfork, not just the shovel. You gotta dig all the way under to find her pee spots. Yeah, Gabby's putting new shavings in Will in Stella stall and it's frozen. So we have to scoop out all that pee stuff. Look behind you. Right under your foot is where I guess. No, nope, right behind your back foot. What? Right yeah. Scoop right into there, that's where I think her pee. They have certain pee spots. Once you figure them out, you'll always know where they are. Did you find some? Yeah. Right under your foot. Okay. Here, use this pitchfork and use the pitchfork to do it. So, thing I hate about this pitchfork, look how big it is. Look at how big the basket is. Nice and deep. But, because the sides go all the way to the front here, that's only how much you can scoop. It only lets you scoop to here. So, it doesn't matter how big the basket is, you can only scoop to there. It's annoying. I hate that one. Let me see what you got going on. So today's about 10 degrees, no, about yeah. 5 degrees warmer. And that's how cold it is. Our shavings are frozen to death. Do not keep my hands warm, so I put my hands like in here, and it keeps it warm. It here's some so warm. Here's a life hack: get warmer gloves. Um. Oh yeah, I remember the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. A lot of you guys are wondering when the heck is Storm and the new guy coming back to our barn? Well, um, we are not bringing any other horses here until we have so much stuff set up. Like we weren't. You we needed another arena. We wouldn't have brought Stella home until we were completely ready, except for that she got sick, so we brought her home. Um, we need a full outdoor arena before we can bring any other horse here. Like, we have to be able to be able to ride. So, they're going to stay there until then. And also, Dodo uh, is staying there. Like, when we leased him, we leased him to be left at that, at that place. Uh, we could maybe bring him home if we got approval, but he, that's a perfect arena for us. So, until the end of show season... Probably like anything can change but until the end of show season that's our goal is to just leave them there I am trying to troubleshoot the hay situation. I thought this uh, garbage can would be so much better because um, It has wheels I could pour water in it better, but it doesn't hold as much hay which is so super annoying so I think I would be able to um, Work it better at least I think it would be able to, like, this is so frustrating. It's only been, like, a huge issue the last few days where it's been bitter cold, like, so cold that I can't even get the hay out of you the add a little more thing. Hay. Yeah, okay, add a little more and I'll pour water in there and maybe do... You need to I stole this from the hay. Yeah, Gabby's chewing hay. Like, come on, if you have hay in your house, then you might as well put it to good use and chew it. Okay, so we are on our way to the barn, but first stop. Stop the video right now. Do not watch any further. Wait, and I comment below. Me. Comment below where you think we are. Okay? I'm going to give you guys a few minutes. Don't anybody watch ahead. Comment below first where you think we are. Okay? And then push play. Let's see how many of you guys actually really know us. Right. So we are at the tax store, obviously. I have $5. I'm 
She has five dollars and she's been dying to spend it. What are we here for, Gabby? The three musketeers up to today. Three musketeers. We are headed. We are here for horse Party. treats. Woohoo! Tell the bag. Yeah, and Sophie wants to get a bag to take home for our horses at home. How about you get a thing for the mini and I get the ones are So we were thinking about buying some treats for Willow for training her. Yeah, These are good size for Willow. For, you think those are good size? Will they easy to break? For Willow too. And she wants to buy treats for? Her? Dodo. For Dodo. So you guys can get that. And let's I'm see. Not sure. I'm getting... What do you so guys recommend for, let's see. I can't find the kind that's for Willow. What kind of, oh, he likes those brown balls in a container. Is that what he likes? That green one. Sort of likes anything green. It's so weird. There's a green bag up there. Those are peppermint flavor, and Storm does not like peppermint flavor. Wait, look at these. Wait, are these the ones that Storm likes right here? Stud muffins? No. Yeah, I might get those. I've had them before. All right, choose, Sophia. Choose some treats. She wants peppermint, but I don't know about peppermint because not all horses like them. You want those? Bio bites? Peppermint flavored. Apple flavored. Okay. All right. So those are the ones you want. Stud muffins. All right. I like those. I like those ones for for Willow because you can break them into little tiny pieces. Dodo. All right, so we got this big bag of Martin treats. The reason I like these is because you can buy like a big, huge bag, and it takes us about three months or so to go through Doesn't them. Doesn't cost like nineteen. It's twenty dollars, which probably means that they're not the best treats. But then Sophie spent twenty dollars for what size bag did you get? This bag. So those are probably better healthy wise, right? Because the healthier it is, the more it costs. Or it's just horse things. Yeah, but we have two big horses, and we need to be able to feed them all treats. Sophie's like, I love this horse. He already knows us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Storm's just watching Gabby. Are she coming for me? Ah. I go anywhere, anywhere with you. Cause you feel my mind. Oh, you feel my mind. Okay, I love him now. He's a nice boy, you guys. Like, you can't really get to know a horse in a short amount of time, but he is such a nice horse. Like, his owner, she is lucky to have him. He, yeah. If you're watching this, you are so lucky to have him. Oh, he likes you guys, too. <laughs> okay, I'll close the gate. You guys go ahead. Go. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's looking at the camera. He likes the camera, you guys. He's meant to be on camera. I've noticed a lot of different things about having a smaller horse and then a bigger horse. They need more food to survive. And they need lots more water. Storm's happy to see that I got him from Yeah, are you happy? He kind of walked a couple steps. He's like, what's that? Well, who's that girl with her hair in a ponytail? That's an example of a girl who does not brush her, did not brush her hair today, Storm, and could not do anything with it. So, uh, Dodo hasn't... He was only ridden twice a week before we, he came here, and so we're trying to condition him slowly. Uh, so we're not going to ride him today, right, Sophie? I'm just playing with him. Yeah, she's just going to walk him around a couple, a little bit. Mostly, we brought him in, so... Whoa! <laughs> I need, um, mom. Mostly, we brought him in so we could give him his hay cubes, because he gets hay cubes, and we make them for him. Did you bring them? Oh, yeah. Gabby's putting on her lucky stormy night bracelet. Which How you doing, sir? How come you always look so tired? I think it's because he plays so crazy in the field. Storm's like, why don't I get hay cubes? Do you like him better? We don't. We love you both. Um, he was literally staring yeah. at the tree. Yeah, they can smell. Oh, look at him. He's licking his lips and he's licking his lips. I'm sure you're going to get some treats. Don't you worry. So it's like, I'm don't you get worry. All of the treats. I don't know why she doesn't have a Lemieux halter on you, bridal halter on you. Wait. Um, because she doesn't want it to get dirty. She doesn't want it to get dirty, but look how cute he would look. Dirty, 
They're washable. Yeah. Oh. So, I don't know how much I caught it on film, but he saw us coming and just made a run for the fence, didn't he? Yeah. He for the gate. The second day. Yeah, he's yeah. like, he knows us. He's a smart boy. He's so handsome. Nice boy. So, Sophie's taking Dodo for a little walk. When he starts getting a little too fast, Mm -hmm. So Sophie had a pocket full of treats and he was like, I'm not going to listen to you until those treats are gone. Alright, so that did not go well. Gabby manages He's way too strong for me and Sophie. Like, Sophie and I could not, he was dragging Sophie. She was trying to walk him and he's like, I'm going myself. And he, he dragged her and then I tried to walk him and I'm like, no, okay, we're done here. Like, gotta be safe. Are you being the instructor? Yes, I am the instructor. Sophie's instructor. Oh my God. No tripping. So. Interesting story, you guys. I gotta. What? So I just got a call from the saddle company. Our saddle is ready to ship. Is that crazy? She hears us. Gabby was calling her. She hears us. She's like, they're here. I was calling them. Really what she's saying is, hey, you got more food? And we do. Are they both there? No, just, just Stella. No, come on. We're going to go feed them right now. All right, so this, this container is a nightmare. Soaking hair, hay is, is ridiculous, you guys. Like, in this climate, it's impossible. So I had to try and empty it. I can't carry this thing down the stairs of our house. And so I can't carry it down the stairs to bring it down to the barn unless I empty it. So now I have to empty it. Now all of our empty. steps are like gonna, cause I can't carry, like it's just, it, uh, I can't even explain. It's just a disaster. Come on, Mom. Guys, um, we brought some free <laughs> Okay. Good girl. Yeah, so she's not going to have too many treats, but we did bring some treats home so that we can train you. And you guys, like, I feel like Canada shuts down in winter. Like, our lives is going to change once the weather gets warmer. Like, it's going to change so much. She smiles. <laughs> she can smile. She does no tricks. Make her do it again. So we want to, like, not get Willow to the point where Stella was with treats smile. and stuff. Smile. Good girl. She's trying to get the treat. I know. I know. <laughs> you said you're cutie. She's like, I've been missing you guys. Gabby, they I all think the camera is a treat. Like, that's a honking sized treat. They all want the biggest treat. 